Simu Liu is the first Asian male to get a Barbie Ken doll, and the internet is debating it. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I mean, listen, guys, the internet always needs to debate something, and Simu Liu is the very first Asian American celebrity to get a Ken Barbie doll because of the new live action movie where he plays an Asian version of Ken. Now, anytime you're the first person to do something in an American institution that's like almost 100 years old since 1959 is acknowledging you, the internet gets split because you kind of get to be the first Asian to get something that a lot of Asians thought we'd never get. Not necessarily that they care that much, but you're still the first one. So are we supposed to celebrate Simu or are we supposed to pick this apart and be mad that the Ken doll doesn't really look like him and that we're mad Simu's in the movie? Right. I mean, it's the internet, guys. People can feel about anything, how they want to feel about it. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications from silly to serious. Always breaking it down, Andrew. This is probably more in the silly category, right? Right. So, uh, so actually, Simu's not the very first Asian Ken doll. There was one called Samurai Ken, but it essentially looks like a white Ken doll in yellow face. So I don't think that was extremely popular at the time. And then also <laughs> Yo, there it was- It looks like it's from uh, Team America, like Action Force or something uh, like- Yeah, but there has been several iterations of an Asian female Barbie doll, but the first one was in 1981 from Dolls Around the World, and it was called The Orient. And it looks like a horrific Halloween costume. So uh, that probably wouldn't fly anymore. So thank you for the uh, progression. Also, they've had an anime Wong one, which they did last year, which was very tasteful. Well, obviously, they Barbie's trying to transition into what, like, a new world, right? A new era. Right, right. And, and uh, this kind of goes along with the movie, right? Because the movie is not designed to be just, like, teenage love and fun like it was in the 1970s and yeah. 80s, right? It's like the whole vibe is more meta for this new live-action Barbie movie. Oh, no, right? the Barbie movie, to me, after watching the new trailer, it looks very much for a mature crowd and above 18 and over crowd. It's very meta. It has a lot of commentary on, like, your world and being li being from a bubble and, and Is it more behavior. like the Lego movie? You know how the Lego movie had the Legos acting like more like adults yeah. than, than you would think? They weren't acting like little kids. No, it's a movie that's supposed to appeal to multiple age groups, especially even older people. But Let's get into the comment section, David. As always, there is a disagreement. Yeah, somebody said, uh, man, I'm really glad for Simu. He's the first guy to break through all these barriers. Mm. I mean, it's true. Uh, you like, you know, ever since he got chosen for Shang-Chi, which was the first Asian Marvel superhero, it's led to like the first of a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. One of the first Asian males, I believe the first native fluency um, English speaking male to host SNL other than Jackie Chan, right? Because Jackie Chan doesn't count because Jackie Chan is from Asia. So Simu was like sort of the first westernized Asian guy to do a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. But this produces a lot of positive comments, but like we addressed in previous videos, Andrew, it produces a lot of negative comments too, right? Mm -hmm. So the next comment was, there are so many hotter actors than Simu. Why does he get all this groundbreaking stuff for himself? It should have been Manny Jacinto or this person, that person, X, Y, Z. Hold up. Let me break down this argument because I know people have been saying this about the Barbie movie. Like, oh, Simu doesn't fit into the Barbie movie. He's not pretty enough. I'm like, technically, Ryan Gosling probably doesn't fit either. He's too old and he doesn't exactly look like a Ken doll. And then Margot Robbie is like 32 years old and usually known for the Wolf of Wall Street or killing people in suicide squad so to me you could say all these actors don't fit i guess but i again the movie is meant to be more about acting and it has such a larger message about it and it's written for like an older yeah audience. i would say like 22 year old zach efron would have been more like actually like ken if we were trying to find people who look like that that character from like 1959. Dude, if you want to just go watch the most beautiful faces on earth, just go through Instagram or go watch some Netflix reality love Yo, shows. Yo, those Netflix reality shows, I think a lot of those people, they don't have the talent to act, but man, some of those people, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. um, somebody said, by the way, guys, maybe they picked Simu due to other factors other than just solely his looks. Asians are so narrow-minded when it comes to understanding entertainment and media in a Western sense. Ooh. That was a burn, bro. Taking shots at the Asian beauty standards. Somebody said, why does Simu's Barbie look like Elvis Wesley? Instead oh. of Elvis Presley. Because it does kind of look like Elvis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they also said that it looks like Eugene Yang from BuzzFeed, Brett Rockman, or or also uh, Guy Tang, the hairstylist. Yeah, I saw some other ones too. Mario Lopez. Oh. Yeah, it definitely, I would say this. It doesn't look like Simu. It does look Asian, but yeah, it doesn't look exactly like Simu. But but I, I, I he did, I think, want to say he's still got a unique mold for it. 
Right, like, right, that's right. Like, that's not the Ken You Miller. know what I was thinking in my head? I was thinking that they still had all the skin colorings from 1959, right? So they didn't, couldn't really capture, like, a high, brightish yellow. So they just went for, like, olive. Um, somebody said this doll is going to go on sale. Nobody is going to buy it or even let alone steal it. No, I, I think it could be a collector's item at least. I don't know if they're mass producing it too. I don't know if it's hitting shelves. Like, because I don't even know if people are buying Barbie dolls the same way. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I haven't seen the like CPG consumer package goods like statistics. You know, I'm on, just on this not David. Merch. I'm not. You know, I, it's kind of weird. I know it's weird to say this. I'm not really tapped in to the market of people who buy Barbies. Yeah, but <laughs> I am tapped into Asian American male representation. Um, man, Simu is a friend of ours. I support him, man. At the end of the day, you know, a lot of people want to criticize what he says in the micro. You yeah. can't argue against the macro, though. Simu is helping out Asian-American representation. Whether you agree with everything he does or mm -hmm. everything he says, he's like a good guy. And he's really cares a lot about the community. Yeah, and I think a lot of people always look at the pioneers of anything, whether that's a Andrew Yang or a Simu Liu or these people who get kind of these rare opportunities. Jeremy Lin, two Jeremy Sports Lin? Illustrated covers, a GQ cover. I think he was in on Jeremy Time Magazine. Lin has too. survived all types of fire and comments and criticisms of oh his personality or this or his basketball player or he didn't shoot enough or whatever it is, man. Like, I just think. You know, you can always have your criticism, but just always know what is most important and the macro is more important, always. Now, you can have your feelings about the micro, but just understand the macro, uh, please, please, please. For sure, I think also a lot of these guys uh, especially like Simu, Jeremy, they're trying to bridge the gap between the East and the West. And this is going to be one of the most defining things moving forward, to be honest. If you guys really like read a lot and understand, you know, things from a bird's eye view, I think that a lot of people hating on Simu for like getting this Barbie doll, they're coming from a scarcity mindset. Mm -hmm. They're not coming from a growth mindset. They're like, yo, the pie is fixed. The more you eat of the pie, that's less pie for me. Instead of like, let's work together and grow the pie, right? Right. Do you think that some people say, well, it's okay that Simu got Shang-Chi because he's an action star in that. But for him to get Barbie too, that's supposed to be for pretty guys. Yeah, I do think there's some of that. In the sense of like wanting things to work the way you want them to work, because you're like Manny Jacinto's like so pretty, so he get him in the pretty role. Well, you could have got a bunch of different K-pop stars, and a bunch of the Korean guys are prettier faces. You yeah, know? and I feel like maybe people feel like the Asian stars once they reach that uh, tipping point, they're locked in for like every role, right? And I do understand that. Like, I'm not gonna pretend like I can't put my mind in the mind of a critic, right? And right, right, right. who's like picking things apart. You can get where they're coming from. I get it. But at the end of the day, man, I hope that the Asian world, like even between the actors, could eventually get more bro-ish and maybe they could all do like a hangover movie together. Maybe it's a little bit less problematic because we're Asian or whatever. But like <laughs> something like a bro piece to uplift everybody. You know what I mean? But I'll tell you this, Andrew, being in entertainment and having met like 90% of these guys, not all of them are even bros themselves. So why would they, everybody else, why would they put them in a bro flick? Right. Um, anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. You guys let us know in the comments down below. Are you excited about the Barbie movie? Does Simu's Ken doll look like him? What do you think about Simu being the pioneer of a lot of things, you know? Um, so please let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.